Welcome to Lounge TV. I'm Larry and you're chilling and growing with me today and we are making potato soup. Potato soup? Potato soup. I love potatoes. Tom likes but, potatoes, don't you? you, you yeah. Love potatoes. I mean, mash them, boil, boil them, them, mash them, stick them in a stew. stew. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. Now this seems like it's very kind of intimidating right now because this is, this might be, this might be the most ingredients we've ever had or pretty close to it probably. I feel uh, like we probably had more. These are the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some heavy whipping cream. You're gonna need some uh, milk. Now you can use whatever milk you want. We just happen to have 1% low fat. You're gonna need celery, okay? You don't need this big of a package, but you need celery. You're gonna need one large onion and that's a large onion. Now we have some little tiny potatoes. As you can see, I'm picking these up top so that they can actually see them. And there's some red ones and some white ones in there, okay? You need one and a half pounds of them, okay? Now we are gonna be using a big giant can of potato, cream of potato soup, right? And this is uh, Campbell's, doesn't have to be Campbell's, and this is 50 ounces we're gonna need. Now guys, I'll tell you about that in a second. Okay, so you're gonna need some chicken broth. Okay, now we're gonna go through, oh, also you're gonna need some H2O. Uh, you're gonna need two cups worth, which is just about what this is. So we have here, I'm gonna have to peek at it, Tom, because they all look the same. We have some parsley. We have some thyme. And we have some rosemary, and I believe we have some dill weed down here. I remember um, that at Scarborough Fair. Yeah, you parsley, sage, rosemary, and dill weed. Oh. Um, no, no, sage is all we're missing. We have thyme. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, anyway guys, Anyway, they're all the dry ones. You're gonna need some Grey Poupon, or some Dijon mustard, uh, horseradish, salt and pepper to taste. We're gonna need some bacon. You're only gonna need a half a pound. This is a pound, so you can use half of this, but I'm gonna cook it all up, and then the other half you can just crumble it up on top. And a ham steak. Now that seems like a whole lot. It's really not. It's really an easy thing. Most of the time is going to be the simmering and cooking part of it. But I just want to tell you a real, real fast story. The reason why this happened, my wife made this recipe up. Uh, she is really a good cook. I told you guys she makes some outstanding soups. She makes delicious soup, Tom, doesn't she? Oh, yes. Uh, I, I'm telling you, she could, she could jar or can that stuff and, and sell it easily. What happened is that she had asked for to get some cream of chicken soup. We do our shopping online and then we go pick it up. And occasionally they mess up because there's humans doing this. So we get this big, giant, giant can of cream of potato instead of cream of chicken, but it wasn't even supposed to be this big of a can. It was just supposed to be a regular can size. Um, maybe mom could, might have messed up, Tom. She might have clicked the wrong thing. Who Potentially. knows? But I doubt she clicked cream and potato soup accidentally. I thought so she I, was getting cream and potato soup. No, like, she wasn't. She no? was just getting a little can of cream and chicken, she told me. Huh. So anyway. I guess I misheard. Okay, so anyway, I told her, I said, well, why don't you make some potato soup? I can go for potato soup. I love potatoes. So she did, and she whipped up this thing, and my gosh. It was, it was a pretty dang good it soup. It was one of the best soups I've ever had in my life. So. I'm going to try to to replicate that today for you guys, uh, and I, I hope I do her justice because uh, she had to write the recipe down for me and everything. Well, we're going to get started now, guys. This is a big intro. I know like that, but we'll we'll get things going. So the first thing we want to do, I believe, is going to be cut up the bacon, uh, chop some stuff up like that, and get, and then we'll have everything ready, and then we'll get going. Soup, soup. Hey guys, I forgot a, I forgot an ingredient. It's Tom's fault. That's my fault. I don't know, but I have to blame somebody. No, there was a lot of ingredients on there, but you need garlic powder also. Don't forget garlic powder, okay? Um, in the meantime, I'm chopping up the, dicing up the onions like that. Uh, nice. there's, a, there's a lot of onions here. <laughs> yeah, that happens. <laughs> no, anyway, um, so I'm gonna, Finish this. Tom's getting the ingredients, some ingredients together over there. Uh, Tom is going to post the ingredient list and the directions on, on the on the video itself. Yep, you should have already seen them actually. Yes. All right, guys. So I'm cutting the bacon up now, and you want to bacon. cut it. Yeah, bacon, right? Um, you want to cut it about one inch. 
but uh, actually a little bit less than that, three, about three quarters of an inch. But then after you get it like that, you know, make sure that you, you, you separate them all in the little pieces like that, okay? And then put them aside and then we'll cut up some other stuff. For those of you on metric, cut them to about two centimeter chunks. Yeah, very smart, Tom. I would never be able to say that because I have no idea anything about metric. Uh, one inch is about 2.54 centimeters, if I'm not mistaken. So is if a yard, I am, people will correct me. So is a yard bigger or smaller than a uh, meter? Smaller. A yard is 36 inches. A meter is like roughly 39. Okay. So uh, a centimeter is then is larger than an inch? No. Smaller than an inch? Yes. See, that's why I'm confused at that. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, that's why I don't like metric. I know it's supposed to be easier, but I guess when you grow up learning one way, you don't really want to change, you know? Yep. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to do, and then uh, I'll go on to cutting the uh, ham steak up, and then the potatoes. We're almost to the cooking. Yep. And then we'll have soup. Soup! Guys, I've cut up the ham now. I already cut it this way. We're going to cut these in cubes, so now all I'm going to do is just kind of go this way with this. And you want about two cups, which, uh, you know what, I didn't even look at the package to see what size um, steak this, this uh, ham steak was. Did you? Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't pay attention. Um, you want two cups worth. I th I'll, I'll check that package in a second. Yeah, it's just cubed like just that. Just cube it up. Just cube it. Cube. There we go, almost done. I'm not the fastest cutter in the world. I just, I'd rather have all my fingers. Okay, so let me just get the package out of the trash. Look at the cubes. Luckily it's right on top. Delicious it ham. is, um, oh crap, I can't see it because there's no meat behind it now. Let's see. Eight ounces, half a pound. So a half pound so of a ham steak. Half a pound of a ham steak, guys. Now I gotta wash my hands because I just dug in the trash for that even though it was right on top. Still gonna wash my hands. Always wash your hands. I wash them so many times when I'm filming, chilling and growing. You guys don't ever say it, that my hands hurt afterwards. When in doubt, wash your hands. When in doubt, wash your hands out. Now for possibly the most important part of the potato soup. Yeah, you cut them up in chunks, guys. So it's pretty easy, just take a potato out, right? On these real tiny ones like this, just basically cut them in half and then kind of cube them like that. Have then quarters. So right. you're aping them? Yeah, except for when you get to a, let me try to find a little bit bigger of one in here. Okay, like this one, right? Instead of doing that, I would go in thirds like that, right? And then quarter. And then I would just quarter them like that, put them in a bowl. Quarter them like that, put them in a bowl. And on, like I said, on, on some of the bigger ones, just cut them in thirds like that. I like to do it at this point. I'd like to put double stack them. I'm a double stacker on them. I mean, if you say so. And you're just going to continue to do that throughout your whole one and a half pounds of uh, potatoes. And then you can, uh, I think we're going to be to the point of cooking, Tom. Woohoo! Woohoo! About time. Soup! Soup! No soup for you! Says you. Yeah, I know. It'd be way too much soup for me. Exactly. I'll tell you what, last time I had like two giant bowls of this stuff. And then of course I couldn't wait for the next day to have some more. <laughs> That's a lot of soup. Stay tuned, we're about to cook. Soup! We got our big old soup pot. Time to put the bacon in. At long last, the yep. cooking begins. Yes. Get all that bacon. Stop sticking to the plate. Okay, so now we're just going to cook this bacon. It's funny, like, look how much bacon's in there, guys. It looks like a lot of bacon. And it won't be that way when we uh, when we get done it. No. It'll look a lot smaller. Get yourself, if you have a slotted spoon, that's what you want to use. Some paper plates, some paper towels on top. That helps drain the grease there, even though we're using a lot of the grease in the soup. And uh, if you don't want to use it, then you're losing out on a lot of flavor. So uh, we're probably going to dump some of the grease out because this, this recipe only called for half a pound. We're cooking a whole pound of, of bacon because I'm going to take some of it out and then kind of sprinkle it on top afterwards. Plus, 
we don't think there was enough bacon in there, do we, Tom? Nope. Right, so we're gonna do this. Um, and so I'll take a little bit of the grease out of it, but you want that bacon grease in there. Bacon is flavor. Besides, it gets diluted by the cream potato. Now it's starting to sizzle a little bit. Sizzling. You wanna to try to break these pieces up as they cook. Because even though I separated them all, they wanted to join their brothers back up again for some reason. And don't be like me the last time I tried to cook bacon in which I forgot to take it out of the freezer beforehand and had to wait for it to thaw. Yes, that can be a pain. Uh, we freeze our bacon because we get several packs of it. Um, so you could just take it out the day before, let it thaw out. Uh, or if worse comes to worse and it's frozen, run it under water, let it thaw out. I mean, bacon, it's not going to go bad. If Hot water just, or cold water? You can run it under either one of them, that's fine. It'll take longer under cold water. But uh, you just, you don't have to thaw it all the way out. Just get it, it's actually easier to cut up if it's frozen. So, um, but like I said, just, oh, if you got, I wish we had smell of vision right now. Uh, I feel like I should have some eggs. Eggs and bacon. Not, but I haven't had lunch yet. That's a shame. Well, guess what? I may give you a little potato soup. Right, it's pretty crispy now, so I can take take it out with the, your slotted spoon. Try to get that not spill grease all over the place. Do that. Oh, sizzle, sizzle. oh, by the way, guys, I didn't say to you if you these cast iron pans, these things are awesome. Um, I think there's a brand name on this. Yeah, Lodge. Um, these things are awesome for soups, especially. Um, I don't know how expensive they are because my wife bought this a while back. But uh, she she uses it all the time making soup, doesn't she, Tom? Yep. So And for things like pot roast. Yeah. I mean, you can use a regular pot for this. It's just cast iron for whatever reason. It cooks way better. So, it's a very versatile tool. Yeah. So um, if you have one, great. If you don't have one and, you, ha getting one. and you have the... The cash. And you like soup? Yeah, uh, I would definitely invest in one of these if I was you. Now, now this is what's funny. I, what I find funny anyway. How much bacon? Matter of fact, I decided I'm not. I'm not even going. I don't even think I'm going to keep any for the on top of it, Tom. I'm just going to use all that in the soup. Yeah. Because it's really not that much. But that's. Is, I mean, that's a pound right there. I think I missed a piece. Did I? Yeah. Oh, this little one. This little guy. Yeah. Well, he doesn't want to come out. Oh, there we go. All right, and I'm going to take up some paper towels and just soak up a little bit of that grease. I don't want that much because that's a lot of grease from the... You use as much grease as you want to. I'm just going to soak up some of that and then we're going to get to the next step, guys. I'm going to turn this down a little bit until I get to that. Our next step now, guys, is to add in... This. Whoa, listen to that. That actually sounds delicious, doesn't it? Get your onions and your celery in there. And we're cooking that in that bacon grease. And we're gonna get that going until they're nice and soft, guys. Oh, I wish you could smell this, because this is outstanding. Oh, well, sauteing vegetables, of course it is. Yeah, so um, yeah, we're gonna get this going until they're nice and soft, and then uh, and then we'll add the next thing in. How long do you think it'll probably take? About five minutes. Cool, not quite there yet. No, but you know what, Tom? I forgot to say how much celery to put in there, right? I know the recipe's there, so you guys can go by the recipe. We used that whole onion, that whole large one, so that's not really, it's just a big onion that you put in there. But the celery, what you wanna do is about, about two cups worth of celery you wanna put in there. Give or take a little bit, that's, that's fine and everything. Uh, so, yeah, I forgot that. Of course, all the potatoes are going in. It's bacon, you gotta snitch. So guys, they're slightly soft now. You don't want them all the way soft, but they're slightly soft now, which is what you want them. It might take a little bit more than five minutes. Yeah, so then get your potatoes, throw them in there, put your, that's all the potatoes, one and a half pounds. Now you have a, what was this? One cup of chicken broth. That sounds right. And I had, think I said the wrong thing earlier about the water. You just want a cup of water or water. Which is about half of a normal right. 16 ounce yeah. bottle of water. 
Yeah, so now I am going to just kind of like stir this up. Make sure the potatoes are under that liquid in there. As much as you can yeah. get. I'm gonna mix that up a little bit in there too. All right, and then you're gonna let that go for about 10 or 15 minutes until those potatoes get nice and soft, guys. So we're gonna like let that simmer away. Pretty much halfway to soup. Yep. You can't really tell this by looking at it, but those potatoes are pretty soft. Yes, we, you'll, you have to taste them. Also, I added some salt a couple times in there. Um, potatoes absorb a lot of salt. Um, and then you can just add it in at the end too, if you want if you want more. I mean, don't forget chicken stock has salt in it, bacon has salt in it, ham has salt in it. So you don't want to put too much salt in it, right? So the next thing to do is take your- Potato soup, not salt soup. Your, your condensed uh, cream of uh, potato soup and you're gonna Oh, it's thicker than I thought. Might have to take this whole lid off, Tom. Have to uh, take the whole lid off, huh? Yeah, it's funny because I was thinking it was more like condensed milk type of stuff. Like I thought it was pretty liquidy in here, right? So I had, uh, Tom went to hand me the- uh, The right tool for the job. I right. probably cut myself on this. I well, get... Don't do that. Yeah, because Tom got me upset now. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, Tom, Tom was right. It's just stuck, I think, right over here. Um, he was right. He came out with this tool first for the can opener, and I was like, "No, we don't. We don't want that. I just want the, you know, the, the one that just the makes puncture one yeah, that works for one. like thin yeah. liquids, not cream of soup." Unfortunately, this can also has a uh, a dent in it right here, so it won't quite cut it right. Let's see if I got it. Of course not. It's gonna be... No, I still didn't get it. All right, well, you know what? I'm just gonna get it like this. So it is pretty thick, right? So I'm gonna to have to get it out like this. And it has potatoes in it, how about that? Yeah. I did not know it had potatoes in it. Did you talk? Three potatoes. More well, potatoes. It's not really free, but... Well, it is potato soup, you know. It is. So it looks really thick, guys, and you're like, you're like, a little like, bit of soup on the uh, like, top of the lid, too. I see it trying to get out. Or stay in, rather. There we go, we'll get it down that way. Um, get all that stuff in there. It doesn't look much like soup right now. No, right now it looks like, uh-oh, it's awful thick. Don't worry, guys. It's like mashed potatoes. Because what I'm gonna do is get that in there. Yeah, it does look like, it looks like mashed potatoes. You are exactly right, Tom. Ah, two for two. We're gonna mix that up first, guys. Cause it's gotta mix in with that liquid that we have in there. And then we're gonna be adding more liquid. Oh, You know, what this reminded me of when my mom would, my mom used to make bean soup. I love bean soup. Uh -huh. But my wife doesn't really care for that, even though this tastes almost exactly like it. And it's actually, my wife doesn't like Bean soup, because of the texture, has nothing to do with the actual taste of it. She likes the taste, she doesn't like the texture of it. And Tom, I don't think you like it either, did you? No. So this, the taste is almost just like my mom's bean soup used to be. However, it doesn't have the texture of the beans. So now I'm gonna put in two cups of milk. Okay. One and a half cups of the heavy cream. I know we're getting near the top, aren't we here? Okay, I'm gonna add in, we have, uh, Tom got this together. Do you remember how much I believe it's two teaspoons. Okay, that's two teaspoons? I believe so. Uh, let me check it out real quick, just to make sure, see how Tom, Tom did on this. Should be near the yeah, bottom. two teaspoons. Looks like a lot more than two teaspoons. I think Tom put two tablespoons in there. It's definitely teaspoons. Okay, and then Dijon mustard, how much? Same thing, two teaspoons. Okay, let me get that in there. It's a little harder to get in there because of, all right, there we go. Now, look at Tom, what, look, look at what he did. You take right after your mother. That's how she does it. Oh. Yeah, it's like sand art. So, uh, uh, sure. Yep, take them right after your mom. All right. So, how much? How that much? Made sense how much is me. in here? Do you know? 
Um, going off of memory, one tablespoon of dried parsley. Ha mm you know what? I'm emptying the oil in there because by the time Tom tells me, it'll be too late. Okay. I'm also going to add something in there. I'm also going to add my ham in there, my cubed ham. I mean, you'll have seen the values of what everything's supposed to be from and the recipe that I put at the very beginning. We were going to just save some of this for the topping. But me and Tom decided we want it all in there. So we're putting all the bacon decided in there. We too. want bacon. Yeah, so now I'm gonna stir all this stuff together. I'm gonna to tell you right now what Tom what Tom did. He did um, let's see. One tablespoon of dried parsley. Got that right. One teaspoon of dried thyme leaves. It was half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of dried rosemary, and a quarter teaspoon of dried dill. That was in. That was a quarter. That was what was all in there together, guys. Yep. And now I'm just going to stir this all up real good, and then we are going to just let it continue to cook, let it simmer for a while, continue to stir periodically throughout the whole time that it's in there, guys. You want it thicker than this, naturally. It already looks really good, though, doesn't it? Oh yeah. Now. And once it, get, once it starts cooking down, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a taste test naturally, and then I'll put in more pepper or salt as needed. Yep. Soup. Soup. Is it soup time yet? Nope. Why not? Because it's not quite there, but one of the things you wanna do is you can use your lid at this point, guys, and, and put that on there so that it, it heats up better. Then you can, when it starts getting thicker, wait till it gets thicker. Uh, before you put that lid on and then stir it occasionally like that Put a lid back on it Put your spoon aside and just wait We want that hot enough that it's going to burn your mouth when you go to taste it So it has to cool off of course before you actually eat it But I mean that's how hot you want it right now. It's not at that point, but let me tell you I taste tested this and so did Tom I Can't wait to eat it Me neither I want soup Patience. I want soup. Patience. I match soup. It's done, guys. Look at Finally, that. Finally, soup time. Soup. Soup. Okay, so now I can kind of. Hmm, this is a right handed one, isn't it? Does it matter which way? I have no idea. I'll need a little for this part. Okay, so now I'm going to get down there and get some of that goodness there. Scoop the yes. soup. Yes. Put that in a bowl, like so. Ooh, I want a lot of soup. There we go. Now, that's a lot of soup. When you when you plate something like this, right, or bowl something like this in this in this circumstance, get yourself a paper towel so you can wipe it off the bowl to present it nice and neat. Take your paper towel, go around the edge of this. You missed a bit on the inside. Yeah, on the inside, yeah. There we go. When you're presenting it. All right, guys, so now comes the best part, of course, is the taste test. So, I gotta pull this back here, Tom. All right, I want my soup. Okay, but I don't wanna burn my mouth, all right? I want soup. I mean, I don't wanna get a chunk of potato. I want to get a little bit of everything, some bacon on there, a piece of ham if I can. There we go. There's potato, ham, bacon on there. Steamy. I just don't want to burn my mouth, you know what I'm saying? Aha. Mm -hmm. It's oh so good. I am gonna to have to wait till it cools down because I don't want a burnt tongue and then everything's ruined for the rest of the week. There's nothing worse than that. Yeah, I know how that is. Absolutely delicious, guys. You know what? First of all, shout out to Sonya because Sonya, you said you wanted to learn how to make potato soup. This is potato soup and it's probably gonna be the best potato soup you've ever had in your life. Guys, try this recipe out. It makes a lot, as you can see. So, but you can... Good for leftovers. Yeah. Out during the week, meal prep. Exactly. So guys, try it out. Tom, make sure you put up that recipe. Oh, you already have it up. Yes. Until next time, guys, grab yourself something cold to drink. Put your feet up and relax. 
I'll meet you at the lounge. Soup!